All right. Good morning, guys. Thanks a lot for tuning in. Back at it again with another video. Today is day two of Santee Lakes. It is 5.25 a.m. and I am headed out to Santee Lakes to meet up with Jason. He's camping out there. Apparently Kyle's still gonna be out there and I think uh, I think Tony's gonna be out there too. But we'll see how it goes. Yesterday was a tough one. It was a success on my end, but it was still tough. I grinded out for about four and a half hours and managed only two bites. One on a spinner bait and one on uh, the drop shot robo warm but hopefully today is a little bit better the new moon was supposed to be in our favor but apparently it uh it hasn't been uh the greatest out there but like i said it's part of the game it's fishing and the only thing you can really do is um test your luck and test your patience you know just uh just got to get out there and try and don't give up and keep trying until you get one if you do give up then you give up if you don't then keep at it guys but enough of this rambling. Gotta stop by AMPM to get my coffee, Red Bull, my coffee, and then shoot straight to Santee. And I'll see you guys right over there. And hopefully, me or Jason or somebody land a toad. All right. My PB is still 5.2. Let's beat that today, guys. If not, it's always next week. All right. Stay tuned. So I got my coffee and I'm ready to hit up Santee. It's about a 25 minute drive from where I am and hopefully I get on them today because yesterday we had shad busting all over us but nothing wanted to freaking bite. You can even ask Jason. It was a tough one yesterday. So hopefully this time when they're busting, they'll bite our bait also because shad is spawning and that means big girls are out to play. And let's just hope they bite. I mean, yeah, it's freshwater fishing, it's tough and it's a whole different beast, it's a whole different ballpark. So you guys stay tuned and wish me luck and let's do it. All right, so I made it out to Santee Lakes. I am here waiting for Jason. I am at the campground right by the floating cabins. I'm feeling pretty damn optimistic about this morning and I'm not gonna lie, I feel pretty good too. So you guys wish me luck, stay tuned and hopefully I stick a good one. Let's do it. I'm gonna throw crankbait and spinner bait. It's pretty dark. Let's see what happens. Did you see that rat? I heard it. That's a big ass rat just ran right by me. There's already like a hundred people at the front gate, bro. At the side gate coming in. Uh, he's defending, bro. Yeah. Water's really low too, man. But, it's tough, man. Tough crowd. Never seen that many woodpeckers in my life. When I was when I was a kid, I would always hear them. <laughs> now I'm annoyed of them. <laughs>
12. <laughs> I know, but this is light rod. I don't want to break it. Dude, look at his mouth. Yeah, it's got those are uh, leeches. Yeah, I was just gonna say that. Yep, that's what I'm about to do. Clean yourself up. You dirty. <laughs> yep. Drop shot came in clutch. It's <laughs> a good little two. Not bad. Oh, it's leeches in his mouth. Oh, it's, it won't let go. Let's see, leeches, blood. Look at all that blood coming out. I got you, homie. It was destined to be. There's a lot of leeches in his mouth. Is there? Yeah, there was like there was like ten, and I got them out. like blood all over my finger. Look. Oh yeah. All right, first one of the morning. There we go. Clean all the leeches off of him. Go back for another one. What happened? Oh, damn. Let me see it. <laughs> Holy crap. PB. Catfish. Oh, he stank. Yeah, that's like a good six, seven, huh? Yeah, definitely six, seven pounder. Damn. Rest in peace, homie. Yeah. <laughs> they're going to open it. You can see a big ass mouth. <laughs> <laughs> what the hell? Yeah, I usually bury the dead fish by my uh, pepper tree. Fertilize that shit. Oh, yeah. Was he laying there the whole time? Yeah, yeah. He was there when he was where? <laughs> Since you like to catch fish. <laughs> yeah. Since you like to catch fish. All right. I'll take that. Oh, yeah. There's a bigger one right there. The one up there? Okay. He keeps swiping at it. I never caught a bed fish before. You don't have that purple worm, bro? That, that, that's why you never caught a bed fish, so that's why we did practice right here. Just leave it there and bounce it? Yep. Just once you get to the spot, you'll know. All right, Tyler. man. You have a good one. That worm's just too big, bro. Think so? Too fatty of a worm. I would put that little purple we'll one back on. We'll go change it. My worm too fat. A green pumpkin purple should do. Think so? What are you throwing? Yeah. You threw away a purple one that you had on? It's in my pocket. I don't think he's there anymore. Yeah, he's not there anymore. He left when we left. Oh, he's gonna get it. Oh, shit. Got him. <laughs> My first ever bed fish. <laughs> yeah. Man, what'd I tell you about the worm, bro? Little pounder. Oh, there's a female right there. Uh, yeah. Right, I'm gonna get her too. <laughs> All right, here's my first ever bed bass or bed fish. Got him on the rubble worm. Came in clutch. Hell yeah. <coughs> All right, guys. Gonna wrap it up right there. It was a successful weekend. I want to say thank you to Jason for having me out at his campsite, hanging out with him and his mom. It was dope hanging out with you guys for Easter weekend. Thank you for that. But I'm going to sum up this video right here. It was a tough, tough morning for the both of us. Jason is sick. You guys probably heard him coughing in the background. But I did manage two today. I got my first ever bedfish, and that was uh, 
it was interesting how to fish for them. I never targeted bed fish before or spawning bass like that before, but it was fun just watching them and you know engulf your worm right in front of you and just boom set the hook and it's on and cracking. It wasn't a giant, but a fish is a fish, a bass is a bass, and I was on it. And yeah, today's bait of choice was the Robo Worm, Margarita Mutilator and Green Pumpkin Purple. Yeah, they just weren't committing to any hard baits we were throwing in the morning. Well, Jason got one on the rattle trap and that was it. We were chasing Shad for a good hour. No success whatsoever. So, you know, we cruised around, met up with Tony. We tried, we tried and tried and tried. I did get a bite on the Ica at one of the lakes, I believe Lake 2. Yeah, Lake 2. Completely missed that bite. I still need to get bass on an Ica, which is, yeah, it's a, it's a really good bait. Don't get me wrong. Everyone recommends it. But I still need to get one on that bait. So you guys have any tips on that? Comment below. Uh, other than that, man, it was a good weekend. It was a good morning. Two fish. Not the best count. But I got on it. And yeah, wrote them up. For everything I use in this video, it will be in the description below. Please check that out. If you guys have any suggestions, advice, tips on largemouth fishing, I'm willing to listen and read what you guys have. So comment below your thoughts. Uh, etc but i'm gonna wrap it up right there guys again thank you jason for having me out uh kyle also thank you sorry about your golf cart that sucked uh, that a terminal blew out but yeah wrap it up right there guys um if you guys are new to this channel this is your first video consider subscribing new videos will be out every week as uh, i'll try to pump out new videos every week as much as i can for you guys and hopefully uh, get some dope content for you guys throughout the year if you guys are new to this channel new to this video consider subscribing you know i try my best to put out as much content as i can for you guys just for you guys to enjoy especially my kids and whatnot to enjoy you know i try my best to get out there work has been work you know adulting is adulting and if you guys enjoyed this video or enjoy freshwater videos that i'm doing give me a thumbs up if you don't then give me a thumbs down uh, it is what it is if you guys didn't like it you guys didn't like it yes and go on to the next video but yeah thanks a lot for watching guys and as always good fishing and peace out